Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is uh, Khalil Shabazz uh, from Legendary Intruders. Um, I just left uh, church way back with uh, our dear brother, Anthony Tony Showtime Rally is laid very, very beautifully. But um, uh, I, um, I walked in, I saw him, and uh, I don't know, you know, the, the, the dimension of what I felt uh, as I saw him lay there. Um, sometimes we don't want to believe that someone is gone because we love them so much that they really don't even leave us and it's like a shock um, when they do. We all know that we have a timeline to our life and everyone is not promised to live here forever. But for every day that we have that we can share with someone else to bring joy to them, then we should be happy, particularly myself in knowing that Tony shared a lot of love with a lot of people. And those people in this invocation embraced him and loved him even more so. Um, I can't say nothing bad about anyone who's alive because I remember my minister once saying that people change like seasons. And you can never judge something that's constantly on the move because just as much as it's daylight, at a certain interval of time, the daylight changes to night. So you can't judge even the timeline between the sun and the moon. So it's very difficult for us to judge a human being that's superior to the sun and moon. And so with that being said, and with all due regard and respect, this man is now gone. And I've always believed as among those who believe as I believe, that you should never say anything bad about a person unless it's they're worth it, you know, or they're worthy of it. And that that's only because it's so wicked or it's so evil that it needs to be publicized. But if it's not, then we should never talk about anyone unless we talk about ourselves. Because nobody lives in a glass house without being thrown stones at it. So, if I want to say something, if you or I want to say anything, we should say everything good about what the person had done and what they continue to do. And Tony was a very, very good brother. He was a great man. God blessed him with many talents and gifts. He didn't take what God gave to him for granted. And he didn't belittle people on the basis of what he was trying to achieve. He just only understood that the demand for a message had to be delivered. And he delivered that message through song. He delivered that message through his voice and those who heard it didn't have a negative response they embraced him they loved him and we're all going to love him continue to love him through the spirit of what we do because everybody that's ever had any impression on you automatically their characteristics live with you for the rest of your life so i want to thank tony Showtime round for doing everything that I love, um, for sharing everything that I love, and giving hope to those 
who have been inspired by everything that he loved. I want to extend my deepest condolences to his wife, Anita, and his family, and all of those who have come to the service today. I thank you because it shows your love and support for him. Give yourself a time before the day is out, just one minute to just say to your Lord, your God, to give, give him or grant him heaven, paradise, and let his journey in the afterlife be as better as it was while he was here. Thank you, everybody. Give a moment for prayer. And let's remember Tony Showtime Riley as the baddest man I've ever known. A great performer. God bless.